Rainy with rumbles to start, heavy rain at times, then gusty sunshine on Wednesday. Good Tuesday night, East Tennessee. David Aldrich, Captain Accurate here from the Captain Accurate Weather Command Center. Well, you can see everybody's shaded in some kind of brown or gold color. What's going on? Well, we have high wind warnings for the Smokies. We'll talk about that. We also have wind advisories for everybody in Kentucky and everybody, it seems like, in Tennessee. This is crazy, but the ultimate Doppler radar presented by Madlock Tire Service and Auto Repair, highlighting a couple sprinkles back towards Sparta. And all this will continue to expand over time because if we open the view, let's go one step further. You can say, oh, I see the rain. In fact, I see some thunderstorms not far from Tupelo and now on towards, say, parts of Mississippi, where they've actually had a handful of tornadoes break out in parts of South Texas, right around the Houston area. Unsettled weather instability is running high down across areas near New Orleans heading into the evening. While they've had numerous snow reports across much of North Texas, like they got a winter event in Texas and Oklahoma uh, with some snow, probably some snow envy for those of you who are rooting for Team Snow here. Almanac, our high temperature hit 50. I was expecting 51. To be fair, it was 51 in Oak Ridge, but 50 in McGee Tyson. That put us two degrees above normal, 74 the record high from 1950. You'll notice we hit 50 degrees in Knoxville, 48 in Morristown, 48 in Wartburg, and 50 in Oneida. It was 54 in Chattanooga, 52 in Nashville. As we look at around the state, temperatures were pretty consistent here as well off to the west. Meanwhile, the high wind warning, as illustrated and uh, issued by the National Weather Service from the National Weather Service in Morristown, has winds gusting 75 to 90. So when we're talking about winds that strong, you're talking about hurricane force gusts. That could last three seconds, maybe five or ten seconds long, but that's enough to take down some power and some trees. Now sustained winds could be anywhere from as low as 30 to as high as 50 uh, across these higher areas in gold. So please, if you're driving through these areas, please be mindful that power could easily go out and also two hands on the steering wheel. That's where the worst of it will be in terms of the wind. Now we can break this up in two parts. We'll start to the left. We'll start with the Nashville office because they govern uh, Cumberland and Fentress County. It starts at 9 o'clock Central Time, runs till 3 p.m. Central Time uh, Wednesday. So really tonight through tomorrow. Uh, but they've got gusts 40 to 50. And then the rest of us in, uh, say, uh, Knoxville, we've got gusts around 50 miles per hour, sustained uh, 20 to 30. And they've just added Kentucky. Now, Kentucky's got wind gusts potentially uh, about, say, 35 to 45. And winds out of the south, southwest there, 15 to 25. So there's still going to be some issues. And I want to point out some of the colder valleys tonight in Kentucky, maybe even into parts of the Smokies, may see a little bit of a mix because I'm expecting lows around 37 and 37 here doesn't necessarily mean it's 37 up to the north in the higher terrain. So please be extra careful if you're out late tonight. Most of us will see nothing but rain at least when you wake up tomorrow. Let me show you these wind gusts because this will illustrate how quickly that wind will get in here. Uh, we won't see a whole lot of wind maybe in the short term, but watch these numbers really down toward Huntsville, Birmingham. I see 53, 56 miles per hour. That's about three in the morning. And some of that energy wants to transfer here, maybe not when you wake up tomorrow morning, but you will see so possibly some very strong winds as we approach midday tomorrow. What time is this? Uh, it looks like noontime. So lunchtime, 45 to 50. That stands to reason. So don't be surprised if those winds take some trash cans down the road. If Wednesday is your trash pickup day, we'll be watching this very, very closely. Headlines, we're looking for a rain to develop tonight. Rainy to some sunshine Wednesday, but it's gusty. That's what everybody's going to remember. And there could be some locally heavy rain of about a half inch to an inch. And then, of course, wet snow showers Thursday. Somebody asked me, uh, well, do you expect accumulation? Well, just the word wet snow showers suggests uh, there's some rain in there, right? So maybe it doesn't stick. Well, I have it shared with my premium members, uh, Exhibit A, B, and C, some options, which I'll share with you tomorrow. Uh, but I do want to give you some indication of what you may see here in the short term in mere moments. Here's what the rainfall part of it looks like. I mentioned a half inch to an inch. That's certainly reasonable. I see closing in on an inch around Oak Ridge and Kingston, which is where I was yesterday for the spotlight, the Tennessee spotlight with Captain Accurate. A uh, little more than three quarters of an inch potentially around Sevierville. And again, this is a gospel. It's not uh, to be precise, but it does give us some guidance, uh, kind of like a handy uh, tool chest. This is probably what we're going to likely see over time. Meanwhile, I want to show you another slide because different models suggest different things. And if they are in agreement, that should send some red flags. But most of the time, they're not in agreement. And you can see here, this suggests about a quarter inch in Knox so it could be far less. Just depends on where those showers set up. But let me show you the timeline because by 9, 10, 11 o'clock tonight, there will be some rain on the move. We saw some of that already showing up around Sparta. By 1 o'clock in the morning, it may look like this with the heavier rains in red centered around Crossville. That's 2 in the morning. 
And then if you're awake or maybe you're a light sleeper and you're hearing this rain pound against the windows, yeah, the temperatures may be in the upper 30s, so most of it's liquid. But I'm looking at Middlesbrough with 35, so some areas in Bell County might get a little bit of mix. Maybe you're closing in on uh, maybe some uh, sleep pellets. It could be some of that thrown in uh, for good measure too. But notice what we're looking at four in the morning, some downpours. Five in the morning, some more downpours. There's six in the morning. If you're out the door tomorrow morning and you think you're going to get out early enough to avoid the rain, well, you might want to just hang tight because by seven or eight, you may see some big improvement like they are in Crossville here. 6 a.m., it's not raining in Crossville, but it's raining hard in Teleco Plains, around Knoxville, around Union County, and across parts of Morristown. It's 7, but a lot of the steadier rain starts to move away by 8, so it does come in early. And if we get a rumble of thunder out of it, wouldn't surprise me. But most of those winds will pick back up. And then the showers, they just don't, they don't want to leave. Here's 10 o'clock. There's 11. I thought we were done with this nonsense. No, it's still sticking around. And temperatures may nudge 61 degrees before it's all said and done. Then we start the changeover process tomorrow night into Thursday. And you can see some changeover. And these are widely scattered snow showers and raindrops. But no big deal, right? As it will come and go, some models are more aggressive with it than others. But I will point out that there will likely be some flakes in some neighborhoods near you. Now, this very strong, potent storm system will drop quite a bit of snow, as it already has in North Texas, Oklahoma. As this low works toward Memphis, its next stop will be back towards, say, Cincinnati, and then eventually toward, say, uh, Lake Erie, especially on the eastern side of Lake Erie. Uh, this one wants to take a little bit further west of Lake Erie toward Louisville. But either way, we're still on the warm side of this ledger. Then we start to see the snow come around like so. This is what I'm talking about. So this is 7 o'clock Thursday morning. Some of you may wake up and say, were they calling for this? Who's calling for snow? I didn't know this was in the forecast. Yeah, it's going to be the forecast. Uh, be prepared. There's going to be some wet snow showers on Thursday, right through midday. Some maybe more drops, but then by 5 o'clock, it's pretty much gone, and it's a ho-hum. Maybe it's not doing it. Look at that. It shows up at 2 in the morning on Friday in the higher elevations. So then, once we get past Friday, we'll talk about partly cloudy skies. I expect a mostly sunny day on Saturday. Some good news there. But let me just show you one slide, just for argument's sake. The heavier snows in pink uh, west of Paducah. But you can see there's a little bit of blue in parts of uh, Knoxville. Maybe the horseshoe takes over. Maybe you're surprised to get a little bit of a flake here or there. And if you don't like snowflakes at all, this is not what you want to hear. But this is really a small minor event in the big scheme of things. We'll explore this a little bit more. And I'll put some numbers on it if there are any numbers uh, later tomorrow. Meanwhile, the temperature outlook, really cold. Another reason to join my premium service because the colder air associated with uh, the northern parts of the uh, North America will likely dive down. There may be a little bit of fight, uh, a, little, a little fight between uh, the cold air and the warm air going into February, but that's going to be around Groundhog Day. Be interested to see what old Puxatoni Phil's going to say, but I can tell you that winter is far from over and we are far from seeing uh, an end to snowflakes. There will still be that possibility. Now, tonight we're down to 37. More clouds and rain develops. As I mentioned, Smokies may get a little bit of a mix. Southeast Kentucky, all the way up to Pulaski County. Uh, Somerset may get a little bit of a mix, but I think generally it's a mainly a rain event for 95% of us uh, during the overnight period. But 37, the expectation for low temperature. 38 for Oak Ridge. 36 for Newport, about 33 or so around Middlesbrough and Jonesville. Now, they may get a little bit of a mix first thing tomorrow morning and a few flashes of lightning bolts there in Teleco Plains. So some rumbles may certainly develop overnight. Now, Wednesday, 61, rainy with rumbles, maybe some locally heavy rain, but the winds will steal the show, gusting 45 to 50. I had that in the forecast now for two solid days. That should not surprise you. 61 in Knoxville, only 52 for Crossville. 55 and 09. How could it be so vastly different? Well, we have a cold front approaching, so it's going to be obviously, not obviously, but 10 degrees cooler in Crossville versus Greenville. Greenville 62, Crossville 52, Jamestown 52. So that gives you a sense that it will be some variability naturally with the passage of this front. Here's your Captain Accurate Weather Authority forecast for Knoxville and East Tennessee. 42 on Thursday, some wet snow showers. Partly cloudy on Friday. We're back in the low 50s. Saturday looks delightful. But then more showers and clouds coming in on Sunday before some spots of rain return Monday and Tuesday. But as we know, these things kind of change and they can change on a dime. That's why I would encourage you to download the Captain Accurate Weather app. If you're not uh, up to date on all the latest wind advisories, that's one reason to have the app. Uh, because you might have a different start and stop time. Uh, all you have to do is go to the App Store, Google Play. It's with Pete Michaels Traffic. You can get 24-hour updates from Pete. Pete's here. He's here. And you don't have to wait for the radio to play it. I love it. 
because you get the updated whenever you tap the button right there on on the uh, on the app so that's really kind of cool but I mentioned uh, what is now again very easy to find App Store Google Play just search the words Captain Accurate at the App Store and Google Play well my name is David Aldrich some people call me Captain Accurate it's not easy being accurate so weather doesn't surprise you we'll see you here next time and if you're interested in the premium service it's on Facebook go to captainaccurate.com I've got all the details there take care <laughs> Oh, <laughs>